good. Be good, you two. Good girl. Don't hiss in the pain. Don't hiss the pain, Maggie. Mom's not going to like it if you do. Mic check, one, two. How we doing? Am I mic'd? Sounds like I'm mic'd. Okay, it's just about time. We'll give it a minute. Guess I may as well sit down though. Oh, gadget, kiddo. Meow, meow. We're in here, kids. Gadjo. I wanted to stay in here because of the extra camera, but uh, with all that might be going on behind me, it's probably a good idea to keep the kitchen camera on there. Uh, I will temporarily make it public so the admins can decide whether or not it is going to stay on during mailbag. There we go. And they can put it back on if they decide. Cool. All right. Uh, well, it's Saturday. It's mailbag time, more or less. And uh, news? Was there anything that happened this week? Honestly, I don't. I don't think there was. Uh, uh, oh, except you know, obviously, Gadget here had her spay three days ago, and she's doing fine. Four days, I guess, today. Um, so today's the first day that she's not getting any pain meds, but she doesn't, she didn't seem like she even needed it on the first day. She's such a kitten. She was up and running around just like kittens do after her spay instead of taking it easy at all, uh, jumping on and off the bed and just being crazy like she is. But, um, at least she doesn't bother her incision at all. So she hasn't had to wear a suit yet. 
Although I've still kind of been thinking about putting a suit on her to see if it calms her down or slows her down enough to, to introduce her more to the faculty. Um, but uh, I'm hoping this fence also kind of works that way where she can get an introduction. I don't think she's going to climb over the fence because she's not that kind of cat uh, as far as I can tell. But uh, I do think that the faculty might do something dumb and jump over it. So I got to kind of keep an eye out for that. Because uh, if they jump over it, you know, she's going to hear that and she's going to come running and then it'll probably just explode. So <laughs> we'll watch out for that. But, uh, but I don't think she's going to do it from this side because I just, uh, just don't see her doing that. As crazy and wild as she is, she's not that much of a jumper and climber. I mean, she gets up the trees and she checks things out, but she's not the sort that I think would just go over a fence um, unless she had a real compelling reason. So... Uh, not just for the sake of exploration, especially not when I'm sitting here, as you can see, and when all the toys are here. Uh, what else could possibly be news? I don't think there's anything. We still need an adopter for Cash, who is um, running around right now somewhere. He was in here this morning. Uh, I've been trying to get him also introduced to the Tiny a little bit more because Cash wants somebody to play with really badly, and the Tiny wants someone to play with actually really badly. But so far, um, Cash knows how to play. Like he, he is clearly trying to play when he runs up on her and he'll run up on her and then he'll stop short like he does when he's playing. And she gets very hissy and, and you know, because she's a little scared. He's big. He's big compared to her anyway. He's tiny for a cat, but um, he'll run up to her and she'll get scared and she'll, you know, poof up or hiss. And uh, he backs right off like he like he should, like he like he does, you know, like a cat does if they're just playing. So... It's good, um, but, uh, but she hasn't quite figured it out yet, so uh, soon enough I think she probably will. This one also wants somebody to play with and has uh, even worse problems because I don't think that she knows how to turn it down <laughs> like Cash does. <laughs> um, but we're working on it. We'll, hopefully at some point we can get her to be friends with somebody enough to play with them because she really, really wants to play. All right, uh, there's no other news though, not this week, nothing I can think of. Um, tech stuff I'm still really excited about, I'm getting a lot done and, and you know, soon uh, we'll be doing another release and there'll be some new features that I think improve life for everybody a little bit. Uh, one of the things I was fixing this morning that I'm gonna get back to, uh, you may have noticed that when we switch cameras, uh, you see the static and then when the camera comes up, it shows the last few frames of the previous camera there, it's really weird. And that's just in the way the software works, but I've found a way that I can, I can change how the cameras change so that that doesn't happen. And I'm excited about that. And it's one of those things that, that sort of has a, a synergy to it where the solution that I've put in place for that brings us access to all kinds of other really fun stuff, um, like being able to go full screen with the cameras, which we couldn't do during the birth, but now we could um, if, if she decided to have any more kittens, if Hazel thought maybe there was an extra hiding in there somewhere that's not poop, uh, we could do that. Or when the next one comes along, so that's pretty nice. And, uh, and a lot of other fun options like that too, but uh, nothing that's really implemented yet except the full screen. So that's fun. Why are you licking that box, huh? DJ noticed you licking boxes the other day. And she thought that was weird. It's not weird, though. You've been doing it the whole time. Okay. Let's see here. Well, look at that. You've got some mail. It says right there, to crank. Do you want to open it? What do you think? Do you want to open that for us? Okay. It says, okay to read on stream since she has not yet learned to read. Have you learned to read? What does that say? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Crank, will you, have you learned to listen? Have you? Here, sit right here. Dear Crank, we think you deserve special recognition for carrying the tiny kitten portion of the KA stream all by yourself up until the newbies were born. Great job. We enjoyed watching your wobbly zooming, finger wrestling with Mr. A, learning to play with toys, and climbing to the top of those mountainous bean bags. Even just watching you gaze into the camera with those big eyes. You are a special girl. If my husband were in charge, he would award you the Presidential Medal for Exceptional Cuteness. With love from Becky and Ralph and your fellow oranges, Timzing, a.k.a. Goofus Maximus, and Phineas, a.k.a. Fluffernutter. Those are all great names. Timzing is a very cool name. 
Uh, Becky and Ralph, thank you so much for writing to Crank. You can see that, like, writing to a toddler, uh, she didn't pay it complete attention. <laughs> attention span's a little shorter than even the short note, but, uh, but we all enjoyed it, so thank you for that. I think, I hope she's not in that corner because she wants to pee. She hasn't entirely figured out how to do her business in the litter box yet. She's pretty good about it. She's surprisingly good about it, but, uh, every now and then I see her getting ready on the bed and move her to the litter box, which is, you know, some kids never get it. Like Teaspoon has had a, a rough week as far as his poops go. You know, uh, you may know that he's had ongoing issues with sort of constipation or megacolon or something going on there that's related to his condition and uh, therefore has gotten multiple enemas and uh, he gets lactulose every day just like our little tiny does. Um, and uh, when he is having an episode of bad uh, poops, bad no poops, I guess, whatever, uh, he tends to sort of run around and uh, vomit and pee in places that he shouldn't. And it's very upsetting to him, you know. Um, so uh, the, the most amazing sort of thing happened, though, this week. Um, DJ was sleeping and he got right on her and I'm looking at him and he's sort of, you know, sitting like a cat that's going pee and I'm like, he's not peeing directly on her, but he was, <laughs> so that was, that was awkward and DJ wasn't happy that I woke her up and had to change all the sheets on the bed. Uh, since that uh, day, she's put a waterproof blanket on the top of the bed, one of the wonderful waterproof blankets that you all have sent us over time. Uh, that we normally use on the beanbag chairs. And uh, there hasn't been another incident, but, you know, better safe than sorry. We wouldn't want to repeat of that. Also, we did give him an enema the other night, and I think he got all that cleared out, so he's feeling much better today. Uh, a whole new kitty. But we're sort of doubling down on keeping him away from the faculty food because we still sort of suspect that that's the, the, what fundamentally causes the issue, is eating too much of the new low. As long as he sticks to his chicken and fish, um, we think he's going to have good poops. And we've just been a little lax. We've been letting him eat a lot of the faculty food, thinking maybe he's okay to have some. And he's been doing too much of it. So now we're putting away the faculty food when he's, uh, when he's out so that he can't have any of it. And that's just the way it is. So, all right. Uh, here we go. I believe this is from Jamestown. Uh, it says, hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Welcome, Hazelnut, and by now, probably her kittens, too. All uggos, no doubt. I'm so excited to see Hazelnut's personality come out more in due time. She seems like an absolute sweetheart so far. Anyway, tell Gadget to enjoy her catterday. I think she is. Say hi to Crank for me, and feel free to use the items included as you see fit. Thank you for all your efforts and dedication to keep K.A. going. And uh, you didn't sign it, but, uh, oh, Mysterious, okay. But I thought I recognized the name on the outside. Maybe I didn't, I don't know. I'm very bad about real names. If you'd written Jamestown on it, I would know. Uh, let's see, so this says Mysterious right on it. And it is Mysterious, it's heavy. Oh, well, okay. Uh, hopefully these KA moments are pretty obvious, but a list follows in case the coffee hasn't quite kicked in yet. Oh, I appreciate that. Uh, so we have, uh, so Jamestown, you may know from our Discord server, and she does amazing art of cats, and so many of them are Kitten Academy-based, um, arts that are just, they're just fantastic, um, little comic style stuff, um, and, uh, We've got a few of her magnets here. I just, I love every single one of them. There's not one I've seen that's not fantastic. Uh, and it says right here, you can get them at www.buyjamestown.com. Uh, that's buy like B-Y, not buy like B-U-Y. Although it could be, I guess, uh, it's not. So www.byjamestown. And uh, I'll say that again after, because you're going to like these. I hope you can see them okay. So we have Tiny Takedown. That's uh, a classic KA moment. And this does look very much like it in this adorable cartoony style. We have oh, Ari and Elsie. Well, I don't need a cheat sheet for that. Best friends. So sweet. Uh, we have Bobblehead River. All right. I probably wouldn't have remembered that this was River in the secret agent suit, but she did. Uh, there's a photograph that goes along with this that looks very similar with her head looking gigantic because all of her floof is under the suit. 
Uh, Princess Aru. Oh, Princess Custard. He looks he really captured an expression on this one, wearing the little crown. Super, super cute. We have the Pineapple Posse. Yes, indeed. That's super cute as well. That's Joyce and Splotch. And then we have the Unwelcoming Committee with Maggie, and their expression on this is priceless. I've seen this posted on the Discord, and I love it, love it, love it. Uh, it says, I am the welcoming committee. You are not welcome. Uh, which is something I guess I said once when I was feeling especially clever and Maggie was around staring at the door just like that. So a factual thing that happened and a wonderful little piece of art. Uh, so that's uh, buyjamestown.com, www.buyjamestown.com. Uh, and I, I'm advertising for that just uh, out of the fact that I think it's fantastic. So there you go. Uh, so Jamestown, thank you so much, as mentioned, for use as you see fit. Well, I definitely see fit. I can't wait to put these stickers on some things, uh, although I guess I will wait. I don't know why I said I can't. Um, I've still got my entire sticker collection to go, uh, but these are definitely going to the top of the pile. And then um, the, the magnet I'm definitely going to put on our fridge or somewhere right away because I love this and uh, I want DJ to notice it too. So thank you so much for sending those. I'm going to set these in a pile of stuff that I'm going to take out with me. Um, I guess for now, I'll put these over here. Okay. Wonderful. Oh, that's so sweet. All right. Oh, oh, um, before I forget then, uh, Raylene and Zenithon sent um, boxy cat litter and baby cat, uh, not baby cat, baby food uh, for the kittens. And it's wonderful. It's the kind of thing that you guys always send, stuff that you know we're going to use. And the boxy cat was especially heavy, so I didn't bring it in. But I did notice, uh, I noticed it was from you guys, and uh, I noticed, I mean, I would have guessed that anyway. Uh, I noticed um, uh, that it's the baby food, too. It's, it's super useful, especially since this little one, uh, I have been switching her to the teaspoon diet of, you know, the chicken that I cook, um, and she likes that. So that's, that's good that she's starting to eat solid food. But before then, we had been going through that baby food like crazy and uh, still may end up giving her some here and there. Okay, now let's see. This is addressed to Kitten Academy, so hopefully there's a note. I see it is a marshmallow bed, a pink marshmallow bed. Uh, it says, Dear Gadget, we hope you enjoy snoozing in one of our favorite beds. We're so happy you're part of the Academy. Love, Tahini and Flair. That also would have been something we could guess. So many regulars on the Kitten Academy show. Um, let's see. Now, wait. Uh, wait. Now, I just I read that and I hardly even processing. Gadget. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought it was for Gadget and I want to write that down before I forget. Um, I want to. Oh, there it is. Okay. That's a beautiful color for her. She's going to look great sleeping in that if she ever slows down enough to sit in a bed. <laughs> She's just got that crazy energy all the time. I wish I had a quarter of her energy. Fantastic. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Tahini and Flair. What are you doing with that? That's been in here the whole time and you're just now noticing it, huh? Look how cool this is. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> it's really cool. Mr. A and Dr. DJ found this in one of the catalogs. Daedalus Great Books Inexpensive. Daedalus, all right. If nothing else, you will get a good laugh um, from Linda G in California. Love what you do for the mamas and kittens. You are blessed to be with them. I am blessed to be with them. Uh, I like the way you put that. I'm the one who feels lucky here. This is so cute and on topic. Um, so uh, Linda has sent cat hair cat hats for cats. Wow. Cat hair hats for cats. So I, I'm assuming these are all felted from cat hair and they are hats. Uh, well, for cats, it's appropriate. The one on the cover here is wearing a Viking helmet. Wow. Uh, oh, and on the back, we've got a top hat and a little cow hat is so cute. And then we also have like the Sherlock Holmes classic there. And this presumably is instructions on how to create all of these hats. Let's take a look. The best way to brush a cat. Oh my goodness. How to save all the hair, how to clean and store the hair. How to make your cat comfortable wearing hats. So that's really practical stuff. How to take better photos of your cat. Wow. Those are some good photography tips. 
And then we have how to make the various different kinds of felt that you're going to need to put together. Oh, and then I love this one, the cow hat. This is so silly and cute. This is the one that's on the back cover, but that's a little bigger, so maybe you can see it better. That's fantastic. You know, there was a point when I bought one of those felting kits with the, the idea that I would do this. Um, but like so many things, it's not something I ever found the time to actually sit down and do. There's also a sheep hat, a snail hat. Wow. These are really cute and clever. And the Easter bunny. Yeah. Oh, graduation cap. Wow, that's right on. Look at that. A little felted graduation cap. So perfect. I hope I do find the time to do that because these are really cute. And like I said, it's certainly on topic for our, our kittens being named for hats. Uh, thank you so much, Linda. That's very nice of you. Okay. This is addressed to Gadget and Crank at Kitten Academy. Let's see what this could possibly be. Oh, it's the kickers. Oh, I, all right. I would have guessed, except there's not as many as there normally are because, well, it's a small class. Uh, okay, mostly okay to read on stream. Well, that's ominous. All right, sealed with some sealing wax. Very official. Oh, beautiful butterflies here. Super sparkly butterflies. I see there's more here, so we've got a theme going on. Mr. A and Dr. DJ wishing you both the happiest of summers, love. True blue. Very sweet. All right, I see something highlighted here that must be the questionable part. Not for stream. Aw, aw, that's so sweet. Okay, I see. That's nice of you. Uh, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, Gadget's Gearbox may be a smaller class, but what the class lacks in size, it well makes up for in presence and personality. Gadget is so playful, energetic, and, well, downright entertaining. I hope whomever adutes her has everything tied down to withstand Hurricane Gadge. But she's more than that. She seems to be as much love muffin as she is Hurricane. A perfect mix of calm and storm. And Crank, Cranky, oh sweet Crank, we've seen her grow and persevere through tragedy and triumph. Every day her personality shines just a little bit brighter. She's going to be a strong little girl. She has to be, I mean her mom is Gadget after all. Her future adooter, oh, oh, she saw Maggie. <laughs> uh, I, she, I, I think she wanted to play, that looked like play from her and it almost looked like play from Maggie where she ran away in, in that sort of way that says, chase me. Um, but uh, obviously we don't want that because if that actually happened right now, it would probably not end well. Uh, where were we here? Um, her mom is Gadget. Her future adooter will have the most precious miracle kit in her, in, uh, on, or should I say, in their hands and their hearts. Again, DJ's name stumped me for coordinating the fabric patterns to name themes, so I made the decision to go with butterflies. They're beautiful, have amazing energy for something so delicate, and fly in a not-so-necessarily-straight line. They flitter and flutter in every direction, just like Gadget and Crank. And as Gadget is the long mom cat, I made hers a bit longer than usual. Oh, I see that one is longer than usual. Look at that. I can't tell you how much I love watching Kitten Academy. After a long day at work, the Academy is just the thing to bring me down from work brain to kitten brain. Whether it's brand new kittens squeaking around, next gen kittens running around, or the faculty just being around, I'm always entertained by the quiet and sometimes not so quiet happenings at the Academy. Thank you so much for that. Oh, that's so sweet, True Blue. Thank you so much for sending all of this and uh, and what sweet thoughts. That is that is wonderful. So, uh, Gadget and Crank, and look at that. Here we have uh, little orange butterflies for little orange Crank. Very. I know you want to play with this right now. She loves a kicker. And uh, for Gadget, we've got these rainbow butterflies and a bit of pink and uh, some little matching tassels there for her kid. Uh, very, very sweet. I know you want to play with it. I know you do. Here, play with this end, though. What do you think? Oh, it smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. All right. Well, you get plenty of those. Why don't you save this for your adopter? Uh, True Blue, thank you. These are wonderful, as always. And for her, she loves a kicker, and she needs, you know, she needs a kicker in her life all the time because she's, like you said, she's got that crazy energy all the time. So that's good. Okay, well, moving right along. 
to get an Academy mailbag. Oh, oh, this is Gabe Taste Test Approved. Well, I guess we know who this is from then. Uh, you can see right here, I think. It says Gabe Taste Test Approved. And uh, yeah, DJ was just talking about him uh, yesterday. I don't remember what she was saying, but she's still calling him Clark. And uh, I don't know why she started that specifically. I mean, I asked her and she said, well, he just seems like a Clark. But that was before he left that uh, she sort of had started calling him Clark for some reason. Uh, yeah. Who can say with these things? Okay, the note. Okay to read on stream. Fantastic. I also see we got the Sheboygan Sun and the Piggly Wiggly ads. Oh, it's taking me right back to life in Wisconsin. Oh, oh, and I also see you've sent us a wonderful donation. It may be a little while before I cash that, but thank you so much. So, uh, it's this, this first off is a really cool card that's got a flying cat in space with a rainbow that's all sparkly, like holographic sparkly. It's a little orange kitty, and he's like yelling triumphantly while he's flying uh, for going way beyond, above and beyond. How cute is that? Inside it says, uh, inside the cat's like halfway off the page. That's really cute. To all our friends at Kitten Academy, I am beyond grateful from Gable and family. Aw. There's also a note, and it appears to be a photograph of Gable and family. Aw, look at that. It's so cute. Percy, Gable, and Merlin. That's, that's so cool with them both looking at him like that. That's just perfect. What a perfect photo. Okay. Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ faculty, mom, cats, and students, greetings from Cab Cable, no, Gable's new family in Wisconsin. We can hardly believe it's been over a month since we visited the academy to adopt our sweet, silly, wonderful Gable. To say that our trip didn't go exactly as planned is a bit of an understatement, but we are so proud of little Gabe for taking his own personal version of planes, trains, and automobiles all in stride. He had a blast staying overnight in a fancy hotel after our flight home was canceled. He especially enjoyed the room service fish and watching the airport traffic out of the high-rise windows. Hopefully he didn't set his expectations of luxury too high on our first day together. In spite of everything, Gabe and his enthusiasm for our adventure turned a stressful situation into a cherished memory. Gable has settled right into our home, and of course he already acts like he's the boss of the house. He's growing by leaps and bounds and has put on almost a whole pound since we brought him home. He's obviously still a good eater. He still loves chicken and now fish, and he makes what can only be described as a velociraptor noise when we put a plate of either down in front of him. Gabe's new big brothers, Merlin and Percy, have been very sweet to their new little brother, despite acting like he was a big scary monster for the first few days he was here. Percy and Gabe love zooming around the house together, wrestling with each other, and playing with Gabe's ripple rug and solving puzzle feeders together. Merlin, being a couch potato, loves having Gabe to distract Percy, but he also has been showing Gabe all the best bird-watching spots in the house, and we often find them curled up next to each other for nap time on the big cat tree in our living room. Gable thinks everyone is instantly his friend, and he's not wrong as he's been charming all of our family and friends with his outgoing personality and silly antics. He even loved our veterinarian and kept flopping over for pets and purring all throughout his first routine checkup. When he isn't zooming everywhere, Gabe is turning out to be very sweet and snuggly. He loves belly rubs and curling up with us for movie nights and reading time. Even though Gable keeps us on our toes with his endless energy, fearlessness, and enthusiasm for absolutely everything, we can't imagine our life and our family without him. Oh, so sweet. Thank you so much for your gracious hospitality and for letting us talk Mr. E A's ear off during Gabe's adoption. Sorry for trapping you in a long Midwest goodbye. We had such a nice time meeting the faculty, Gabe's siblings, and his wonderful mom, Skye, as well as Crank and Gadget. And it was extra special to also get to meet Joyce's new mom, Moose Little, for Joyce's adoption. We also want to thank the wonderful and welcoming KA Discord community for their flood of love and support. They helped us realize that our crazy dream of adding Gable to our family was indeed something that we could make a reality, and we deeply appreciate all of the alumni that reached out to us with helpful travel tips and advice. Thanks also to everyone for being so generous with their endowments. Gabe is crazy for all of his new toys, and he loved helping us unpack everything out of his suitcases. We took all the sweet handmade labels from his endowments and put them in a shadow box so that we can see them every day and remember everyone who loves our boy as much as we do. That's a great idea, by the way. 
We promise to keep posting often to alumni spam so that everyone can enjoy watching Gable grow up as we too enjoy having the special privilege of watching his siblings and mom grow and thrive in their wonderful new homes. Thank you again for everything. Love and spoogles. Destructo Girl and Mike, uh, Mike111, and Gable, Merlin, and Percy. So sweet. Oh, it's just great to hear from you that way, although we hear from you on Discord all the time, and it is fantastic. I know DJ still misses Gabe a little, but we're just thrilled that he's got uh, a wonderful new family. Uh, these are going to be really fun to read. I, I definitely miss life in Wisconsin. Like, if there's one place that I could go back to that I've lived previously, um, that definitely would be one of my top picks. But uh, probably not going to happen. Uh, just, a, just a great place, though. Okay, uh, let's see. So, uh, we've got this cute little star with feathers on it. I don't know why he's upside down on the card, but he's attached on both ends, so he's definitely the way he is on there. Uh, I guess they wanted to make it fit there. That's fine. We have some Churu, which you say is for hazelnut. Oh boy, she's going to love that. We have Temptations for faculty and students. That's great. I think DJ's uh, been going through a lot of the treats that we've had, and um, she has, she's found a bunch of ones that just aren't that popular with anybody lately, but I know these will be. So that's great. Uh, this appears to be some kind of a t-shirt. Aww. Life's too short to worry about matching socks. That's perfect with a little tuxie on it. With uh, different size socks. That's really, really, really cute. I love it. And uh, right on for us as well. So thank you. Thank you very much. We've got this cute little rocket ship that probably should go in this room right now. Toys in bed for deployment or endowment. Oh, but this has also got a loop on the front. Could be a lot of fun to put on the end of a wand and fly around. Uh, here we've got a tiny cheese. I guess that's the Wisconsin aspect of it. You want a tiny cheese? She just wants to play with everything. She doesn't even care. And then look at that! Oh, DJ's gonna love this. We have an adult-sized strawberry for Crank. Ah, uh, it's perfect. It is absolutely perfect. And it's uh, the kind that seems like it's gonna stand up pretty well. I mean, she can obviously... Uh, Mom could obviously crush it, but I think she could actually climb it without crushing it. So that is great. I know a lot of people have been concerned that uh, she would have a strawberry that she could live in when she got bigger. I wonder if she'll go for it. Maybe we should leave it out for a little while to see. I'll be very curious uh, whether she does or not. Oh, look at that. I managed to just put it right next to the little strawberry. Little strawberry, big strawberry. Those, uh, those are, that's perfect. That's really perfect. DJs always love the little strawberry bed and the kittens outgrow it so quickly. It's, uh, it's cute, sort of, that uh, Crank is a little undersized, uh, a little underdeveloped for her age, and uh, therefore gets to continue to use the strawberry bed for quite a while. Uh, Mom is going to check out the big one, and she sees it as something to... Oh, she's kneading in there. Look at that. She must really like it. She's in there kneading on it. She's going to settle down, I bet. Oh, somebody just opened a door or something. Yeah, a door. She heard that. Now she's got to get up. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm going to put this stuff in here for the moment, and we are going to keep going. DJ is going to love the fact that there's a big strawberry, I think. Okay, this is from the underscore kitten, although it looks like they took your underscore. Wow. Well, you didn't need it, did you? Uh, what is this? This looks like some sort of paper product. Presto paper towels. Well, we do go through a lot of paper towels. Let's see if there's a note here. It just says, enjoy your gift from the underscore kitten. All right, uh, with AWAR. Thank you so much. Well, uh, it's something that's always useful. Always more paper towels. We go through so many of them. And uh, it's good that we can try a new brand. I don't think we've done Presto before, but then we can see if we like them and maybe uh, do something different once. Also, we've got a box in a box, which is an Amazon classic, but this is a real good box right here. It's in nice shape. It would be perfect to put around the litter boxes like we do now. Um, so that is a very useful thing. All right, uh, the underscore kitten. Thank you for that, okay. Let's keep going. 
This is also from the underscore kit, and I know exactly what this is. You can tell by feeling it that this is a bunch of Mylar balls. So it is. Uh, is there more of a note here? Here we have a bag in a bag. We've got a box in a box, a bag in a bag. Oh, now, don't start trying to fight anybody out there, Hazel. Sorry, it's been a while. I've been fostering dogs and haven't had much time to check in. Glad to see healthy kittens. You needed a break. Knock on wood. Love to all from the underscore kitten. Well, thank you so much, the kitten. Um, th these are great things. I'm glad you're fostering dogs. How fun is that? I was just having a daydream the other day about getting a dog in here. You know, I think about it sometimes. It's, it's obviously something I would like to do again to have dogs. Uh, dog, I guess. Probably not more than one for me. But uh, you know that, that you know we had Elsie. just came up already once in today's mailbag. And she was so wonderful with the kittens. Uh, I hope that we can find another dog that's going to be that wonderful with kittens someday. I don't know that I'm ready for it right this minute, and I keep saying that. It's been years now that I've been saying, soon, soon, you know, as soon as I get some time. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Someday. All right, this has a note right on top. I think I know who this is from. Let's see if this verifies it. Here we have a whole family of kittens in a basket, an orange, a gray, and three tuxies. Hello, Dr. DJ, Mr. A, faculty and kittens. Just a little box of fun and food. Hope the rest of your summer goes great. Many thanks for all you do. Love, Bob and Ruth. Indeed, thank you, Bob and Ruth. Just what I thought. Now, let's see. All right. Oh, interesting colors. Let's see here. Uh, what am I doing with this? I guess I'm putting it there. Who is meowing out there? Oh, what do you want, Teaspoon? Why are you talking to me? You go talk to Mom. She'll give you whatever you want. She always does. I think he's, I think he's upset because he can't get any of the faculty's food right now. And I think that's what he's yeah, asking me for. I don't hear him meow very often. Uh, so that's really cute, but um, I'll take him upstairs and give him some of, the regu some of his food after this if he doesn't go up there and get some from DJ. He'll just learn, you know, if he'll be hungry enough that that's what he's going to eat. So this is a postage stamp bed, and it's got a cat on it. It's really cool. It's cat lady, cat lady box, it says. All right. That is just cute, bold colors and nice matte. That'll look good anywhere. Or you can put it the Sherpa side up. This is like the kind of material that kittens and cats love to knead on because it's just perfect for them. Uh, so that's really pretty. Thank you for that. I think I just got a little buzz here. Let's see. Oh, I hear Maggie. Yes, uh, she's on the thing. She looks like she's going to cause some trouble. Thank you for the warning. Maggie could potentially come over the fence, but I think she's got enough sense not to do it. I think she's just there to be antagonizing. The unwelcoming committee. I'll keep an eye on her here. Don't think like that. This must be some kind of a sign. No, I mean, this is, is a sign. All you need is love and a cat. And it's got little bells on the kitty. Uh, it's not a toy. That's a sturdy sign, though. That's really cool. Wow, Maggie's just got... She's, like, given the evil eye there. Uh, we have Inaba chicken broth. I don't think we've had chicken broth before. Although, um, the last three mornings as I was giving her meds, I gave her some shrimp in broth that wasn't... It's a it's Fancy Feast brand, I think. And uh, she loved that, of course. That's exactly what this is, chicken in broth. All right. That is a great treat or, uh, you know, a little reward for taking your meds, I guess. We have a pizza, <laughs> very cute pizza. Uh, little jingle ball. Oh, you always send one of these, uh, an old churu uh, container packed full of, well, churu, baby food, and this time toys. That's a new addition, little Charlie balls and stuff. Fantastic. We have... A uh, bird chirping birds. She hears the door. You're running the wrong way. It was that door. 
Maggie's gone. I hope she didn't come over the fence. I guess if she did, that would have just exploded. Okay. Oh, I recognize this bird, but not the red one. The red one's very cute. Well, I kind of recognize it. It looks familiar, but it's not because uh, I can see at the bottom, it looks like the battery may be replaceable. That's convenient. So here we have a little chirping sparrow and a little chirping cardinal. I haven't seen the cardinal before and I love cardinals. That'll be fun. They've both got the little electronic chirpers in them and it's from Patarama, I guess this is the brand name. Um, Potarama. Um, I noticed that the, the catnip in there is especially potent, like I can smell it, so that's good. Here we have one of these little plastic balls that are always the ones I step on and break, and this one came pre-broken, uh, as I can see there. Probably happened in shipping. Yeah, I can see the little bits right there. They're very delicate. Um, they're fun. The cats love them, but they never last. They're made out of this really hard, brittle plastic, so if you step on them even a little, they shatter. Uh, let's see, Nulo, lots of Nulo, in fact. There's a bunch more in here. Um, also, RC Mom and Baby Cat. This is good because this is what, um, so you may have seen in yesterday's close-up that I was doing with the kittens that we discovered the kittens aren't gaining a whole lot, and I decided that that's probably because Mom hasn't eaten a whole lot in the last 48 hours. Uh, so I put her back on the RC Mom and Baby Cat, which she loves and has been eating. So I think that'll turn things right around. Um, We'll see, of course, but we'll keep an eye on it. And if it's not, we'll, we'll do what we got to do. Okay, uh, socks for me. We got this cute little cat head toy. Oh, there we go. Just a cute little kitty head. All right, another one of the little balls. Uh, more churu, more balls. Ooh, Stroop Waffle Coffee. Now that's a new one. Oh, I can smell it. It does kind of smell like Stroop waffles and coffee, which, you know, go together naturally. So that's perfect. I'm, I'm excited to try that out. Also, you sent two, I think, lovely baskets. When she takes off trotting like that, I get nervous. Um, I guess it's not a basket. It's more of a play mat. This one is for hazelnut. And it's made out of like a basket weave, but you can see it's flat and it's got a uh, one string on that's long with a ball on the end and it's shaped like a kitty. And then this is the exact same thing. This one says gadget on it with a sort of hypnotic pattern there. And it's got a ball on the end of a string on a mat. Those are a cool idea. A little play mat with a ball. I bet they're going to love those. Oh, uh, wait, there's more. Oh, wow. I didn't even see that. That was the most legitimate, but wait, there's more. Uh, there's a little tiny kitten head. There's more packing material for the Churu, uh, not Churu, the Nulo that's in there. Oh, I just did that right on the mic. You're welcome. Okay, look at these beautiful kitchen towels. Wow. All right, this one's got some wild cats on it. This one has some domestic cats on it. And this one also, look at that. Oh, these are so pretty. They're nice too. I can't wait to put these up in the kitchen. They're gonna look great. Uh, so some wonderful kitchen towels. Those are really, really pretty. Uh, I'm going to put those over here so that they go out instead of going to the endowments and basement with the rest of this stuff. Here we go. That food will get sorted in due time. This we can put right over here. Bob and Ruth, thank you guys so much for taking wonderful care of us like that. I just, you're fantastic. You've always done uh, a lot for us and I really appreciate it. For us and for the kittens, especially for the kittens. That's what we like. I uh, always try to encourage people to, to uh, send stuff for the kittens more than for us. And uh, thank you very much. Okay, perfect. Perfect for the kittens. Uh, actually, I could put all those together into one big box or just put this over there in that one for now. Okay, good thinking. Hi, Tiny. Now everybody can see you again. If I put this up here, it's not going to get knocked down, is it? You gonna lick that? All right, you, you get that licked for us. This is so heavy, I wonder if it's more from Raylene and Xenathon. Let's find out. Well, it is food. It is the new low that we feed everybody. And there's a note that says, ah, indeed, for Hazel and her baby hats, boxy cat litter also being sent. Thumbs up, cat emoji, cat emoji from R and Z. Thank you so much, uh, Raylene Zenathon. You can just sign it R and Z, and I know exactly who you mean. 
So uh, this, of course, is Nulo that we feed everybody all the time, and that is super practical, just like everything you send. Wonderful stuff you know is going to get lots of use around here. Well, it's going to get one use, but it will be used. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, hey, I know what this is, but who sent it? That's the question. All right. Well, it is please use... As you see fit, uh, from Discord name Shorty Kitty, who I guess is a Chris. Uh, Shorty Kitty, that's a great name. Shorty Kitty has sent us, first off, the wonderful set of chirping balls that I, I mention every time one of these comes in, how much I love them because it's got a frog, a cricket, and a bird in it. And the frog and the cricket aren't just the same chirpers in it that you hear in everything. Like I've seen so many toys that come that aren't birds that have this regular old bird chirping in it. Uh, you know, the little chip they use to do the chirping sound. But this set has these really nice uh, balls that are... Uh, oh, these aren't even the pith ones. They look like they make them furry now. Um, but the cool thing is the frogs make frog sounds and the cricket makes cricket sounds. And, uh, you know, I call them frog and cricket because that's what they sound like. But they're just, at least in the sets I've seen, they're all just very similar. Now, I haven't seen one before that is furry like these are, which is really cute. And I think the kids are going to love it. Most of them are that sort of uh, pithy material, like the, like the rainbow-colored pith balls that you see all the time. Um, I'm looking around to see if there's one out here, but I'm probably not going to see one right now. Um, so most of what I've seen of these are that, but this is the first time I've seen one that not only are they uh, little fuzzy balls, but they are also, they have eyes. They're very cute. Okay. So thank you. These are these are wonderful. Um, I, I say it every time how much I like this set of little chirping toys because uh, because they aren't just the usual chirping sound. Oh, oh look at that! They sent a tool that you can open it up with to replace the batteries. Presumably, uh, did that come with this or did that fall out of the other one that had the replaceable batteries? Well, I may never know. I guess you guys probably saw it happen, but. Uh, it's fine either way. Now, the other thing that you sent, Shorty Kitty, is perfect. I know you heard us talking about these and decided, well, you need one then. Uh, this is what I'm going to call Custard's Bed. Uh, I know it doesn't look like a bed, but it is made out of the accordion cardboard, and it opens up in a big circle. Well, I guess it would go this way with the lip on it, so you can picture this just, you know, go around like that, uh, sort of extruded in a circle. And uh, it makes a wonderful cardboard cat bed, and Custard had one in here that had a couple, actually, because the, occasionally they get vomited in or peed on by uh, Loganberry. Um, and then they have to go get thrown out. Uh, but we've had a couple of these in there, and they are wonderful beds that, that the cats just love, or at least Custard really loves. And all the other kitties, I see, spend a fair amount of time in them, too. This is, this is a really good bed. So you sent us two of those beds. Uh, that's, that's so nice of you. Uh, I almost can't decide what to do right away because Custard has been spending 90% of his time in my office with me. I wonder if I should just put one up in there for him. Um, he's got his like cat tree and he's got a cardboard infinity scratcher in there that he spends a lot of time on. Uh, between the cat tree and the infinity scratcher, like that's pretty much all he does now. Uh, even though that cake, uh, it's technically a tea, um, like a bubble tea bed, but um, but it's I think of it as a cake still. That's in there too, and he was spending time in it, but I haven't seen him use it lately. I probably have to move that somewhere. Anyway, these are great. Uh, Shorty Kitty, thank you so much. I'm going to leave one out so that I do put it somewhere for custard. And these other two things, I'm going to move right over here for now so we can put them uh, away with everything. There we go. Wow, uh, one box left? One box left. Wow, that went a lot faster than I thought it was going to go. Cool. Hang on now. Let's see. One box left. Oh, it's a light one too. I think I, I know just from the weight, these has to contain mylar balls. What else could possibly be this light? Let's find out. Yeah, nailed it. Wow, that's a lot of mylar balls though. Uh, a lot of notes, too. Let's see. The notes say, from Renau. Uh, oh, I see. They're for each kitten. This one is, there's a set for Bonnet from R Ranau? R you know, I did this last time. R-A-N-O-W. Uh, I recognize your name, but I have no idea how you would pronounce it. Uh, like most things in life. 
Okay, uh, well, I'm not going to dig out all the notes, but they, this, is, this is one for each kitten and presumably one for their mom as well, since there are five here, or maybe one is for Crank. Well, now I have to find all the notes to find out what the last one is for. Oh, no, there's one hazelnut. And then I've got three of the four kittens here, so that's what it's got to be. So you sent five packets of my... There's the last one, okay. Five packets of Mylar balls, one for each kitten and one for mom. That is fantastic, Ran, Ranau. I'm going with Ranau. Okay, perfect. They are going to love those. Mylar balls, always a hit. Those kittens almost uh, now, they've got their eyes open today. Uh, not 100%, but enough to sort of be squinting at the world. And uh, it's big progress. They're doing really well. Okay, that was Mailbag. Wow, uh, thanks so much to everybody for everything. A lot of really thoughtful stuff in here. You know, stuff that, um, that like the strawberry bed makes so much sense. Uh, the little custard bed I know we just talked about in the mailbag uh, recently. I don't remember if it was last week's or before that, but I remember it coming up um, because of the magic organ toy, which by the way, uh, I don't know if you've noticed the magic organ that we got that's in the same sort of thing, uh, but is a ball track. Uh, yeah, I guess that was last week. It must have been? No, the week before. Ah, who knows? What is time? Um, it's been up in the uh, master bedroom, and everybody plays with it, actually, uh, especially Little Cash and Teaspoon, though. They both love their ball track and have a lot of fun with it. It gets constant use. So, um, yeah. Okay, well, now it's down to me to put all of this stuff away somewhere, so I'm going to get to that. I'm going to switch you back to regular Mike. You all know regular Mike. He's a regular guy. Uh. <clears throat> Hang on now. Where is he? All right, perfect, perfect. Checking the mic. I think you guys got it now. Put away the other mic before I forget. I forgot last week. It turns out, though, it doesn't run out of charge if I forget. It just shuts itself off. So I think there was one time that I thought it was completely out of charge, but I didn't realize I could just turn it on. Um, but now I know. So this morning um, I saw that I'd left it out all week, and I just turned it on. Okay. Uh, let's get this stuff sorted. This is all going to go... Actually, not all of it. Uh, we need to split this up. DJ's going to want to see that. Uh, these notes are going to go downstairs. But the stickers are going to go with me. Did you see there's some Jamestown stickers and oh, oh a magnet that came in the Amazon bag? They're really, really cute. Oh, here you can take a look. Uh, I'm get the rest of this sorted off. Let's be sure Dave with his new family. I dropped the rest of the stickers there. Uh, I can get them when I come out. Right. Oh, did you see what else came in today's mailbag? You're going to like this. Here. I know you were doing stuff and not watching. Take a look. <gasps> what? Yeah, the big one. Did she try it yet? She didn't yet, but uh, 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 Gadget went in there and was kneading on it, so that's nice. Yeah. Those are pretty towels, aren't they? That's from Bob and Ruth. Yeah, they really are. I don't know if we have to wash them first. I feel like they might not be super absorbent until they've been washed once. Where are you going? Why is the backpack out? It's like one upstairs. You know? Yeah, it's out there. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. I don't know if it smells like much, but it tastes kind of tangy. It's really good for that kind of thing. Smell this compared to this. Or even here, just smell this. This is cinnamon, but it smells like nothing, right? 
He's ridiculous now. Yeah, yeah, he does. Okay. Leaves of all that stuff with me. Ari loves getting an empty cardboard box and he's digging in those boxes I just put out there right now. Cats that like getting in boxes don't always do it in like the piles of empty boxes like, stacked in each other and stuff. But he's all over it. I'm just putting this stuff over the fence and then I'll come out there and put it away where it belongs. see whether she'll go for the new strawberry and uh, well that's it I'm going to take the fence away and close the door because I'm not going to be watching now get back to the stuff <laughs> so playful I get back to the stuff I was doing that's a bad fun you're almost too big for that now I gotta get you some other fun in here All right, thanks everybody.